What's up guys, it's Busteroni. Uh, a lot of you guys seem to enjoy my last video about making a Reddit bot using Python and Brawl, so I thought I'd keep the series going. And uh, you might remember the last video ended where the bot worked, it just replied to its own comments or replied to other people's comments uh, whenever it ran, and we don't really want that. We, wanna, we don't want to spam people. So we're going to make sure we only reply to every comment once. And we're going to do that with a list. Um, a list is essentially a way of storing uh, data into... Um, like a, so I'll just give an example. A list would be an example list equal, and we can have data inside the list. So just an empty list is defined by doing the name of the variable equals and then square brackets. And um, I'm just going to run this to show you what we print out. And I'm going to comment out this. And you can just complete commands quickly like I just did by typing in the beginning and then pressing tab, and it will try to autocomplete for you, at least in terminal. So we run this. It's going to print out an empty list. Oh, I didn't print it. It's just going to print out square brackets. Um, and we can add data to the list by doing uh, just, let's say, tests. And we can do another element by doing a comma, um, hello, one, two, three. And let's just do an integer for good measure. It can be any different type of data. So there are four elements in this list, test, hello, one, two, three, and zero. And you printed it out. But let's say we want to add it after we create the list initially. Let's, you can do the method append, which means add to the end of the list. And then let's just do um, a float, which is like a decimal. And you're going to see it's going to print out test hello, 1, 2, 3, 0, 30, 2.1. So what we're going to do with lists for our uh, bot is we're going to make a list of all the comments that we've replied to. And whenever we reply to a comment, we're going to the, we're gonna add the ID of the comment to the list. And uh, we're going to make sure before making a new comment that the comment's ID is not in the list. So what we can do is we're going to come over here. And we're going to say comments replied to equals, and then we're going to, we haven't replied to any comments yet. So whenever we reply to a comment, we're going to say comments replied to dot append, um, and then we're going to say comment dot id. And I commented this out so the bot doesn't run right now. This is just um, comments, nothing's going to happen other than, actually, no, we should run it now. So. We're going to run the bot, and I'm going to comment out um, reply because we know it works and because I just don't want to spam Reddit right now. And I'm going to change the limit to 10 just so we can test easier. And I don't think anyone's made a comment with dog recently. So, yeah, I'm going to go make a new post for my other account to make sure it, it works. I'm going to create a new test. So just to be clear, these are two, this is Buster Roni, my main account. This is my test account. So these are two different accounts. Um, test and test. And I'm going to comment something about dog. And actually, I'm going to print out um, the list of comments just so I can show something. So I'm going to run this bot. I'm going to comment dog. And then you're going to see it should detect it. There we go. So that's our list of comments we've replied to, supposedly. So we have ddzv, that's the ID of the comment, ddzv2tp. And if we come over here and we check out the ID of this comment, which can be seen up here, that's exactly what it was. So we would have replied to this comment if we had a reply on. So what we're going to do is we have, right now it's going to add append to everything, and we're going to say, and comment.id not in comments replied to. So that pretty much means the comment that we're the ID of the comment that we're currently re replying to is not in the list of comments we replied to. And I'm just letting you re re know right now, we're going to run this, and it's not going to work. We're just going to keep rep supposedly replying to the same comment over and over again. I'll explain why once we see it. Oops, I, added the, I, I put it in the wrong spot. That was very dumb of me. I should have put it right here. Um, long day. OK. So we're seeing if dog is in comment.body, and the ID of the comment is not in comments replied to. Um, you're going to see it's going to say, again, string with dog found in comment. And that should only print out if we would supposedly be replying to it. So you see, it found it again. And the reason this is happening is because we're defining comments replied to as an empty list, but every time we run, we run, run underscore bot, the, the function, it's making a new empty list. So what we need to do is define comments replied to out here. And then... When we run the bot, we're going to pass the new variable comments replied to 
into the function. And to be clear, I could call this anything I want right here. I call it ABC, I call it hello. I'm just keeping the same name just uh, to be clear. So now it's going to work properly. It's not going to print out again, hopefully, string with dog found. It should just say sleeping. Yeah, there you go. So it works. But um, we're going to have another problem, and I'll show you what it is. Let's comment for real this time. You're going to see it's going to end up replying to itself. And um, you should try to guess why. But you're going to let's go to my comments over here. So we just replied to Busteroni. And then now, if we wait 10 seconds, it's just going to reply to myself. And I'm going to stop running the bot. And I'm going to show. So um, you might have seen. I don't know what happened there. Let's open up both of these comments. Yeah, so there we go. So Busteroni test replied to dog. And then it, it ran another loop, and then it detected dog in the other comment right here, and it replied to itself. And the reason for that, it actually works as intended, because this new comment, its ID was not saved, this comment's ID was saved. And then this comment had dog in it, it was just treated like any other comment. So, to make sure we don't reply to ourselves, um, we're going to do and, an another and. So, I didn't explain this well. For an if statement, you can say um, if something, and then you can have another condition. And this also has to be true. So right here we're making sure that comment.id is pretty self-explanatory. It's just English. Comment ID is not in comments. And we're doing another and. Another thing has to be true. And what we're going to do here is we're going to say and not. So we're making sure this is not true. Comment.author. That's the username of the person who wrote the comment that we would be replying to. Is not equal to r.user.me. So I'm going to explain this. It might be a little confusing. This double equal sign right here means we're doing a comparison check. We're seeing if two things are equal. So ignoring all this stuff, just making sure that right here we understand, we're saying only do the following if the author, the, the, the username of the author is not equal to, and then right here this code gets the bot's username. So this would do Buster any test. So if the name of the author is not equal to r.user.me. Um, another way we can do this, which might be more clear, is we can do exclamation point equals, and that says it not equal. So we're saying end comment dot author is it not equal to r dot user dot me, and that just might be a little more clear. So now if we run this. Um, you're actually going to see another problem to fix, but if we run this now, it's not going to be replying to itself anymore. It will still reply once to the last comment of this. You're going to see right here. It replied to me. And that's going to be the next problem we're going to solve. But let's just check this out. There we go. It replied to me, and hopefully it shouldn't be replying to anything else. Good, so it stopped replying. So the problem we ran into is that every time I run the program, comments replied to makes a new empty list. It doesn't save the comments we replied to. So we don't want to start the program and then stop it and then start it again and, and reply to the same comment. We want to keep a running list of every comment we've replied to. And to do that, um, there are a couple ways to do it. We're going to be using a file, um, a text file to be exact. So we're going to make a new function to, to handle this. We're going to say def get saved comments. And I'm just creating a function with no parameters calling get saved comments. And we're going to say, the way you open a file is we're going to say with open and this is the name of the file. I'm going to do comments replied to this dot text. This doesn't have to be comments replied to. I'm just doing it to be clear to myself that it's the same thing as this. It's going to be um, adding comments to this. So, and then we're going to do R, which means we're going to be reading the file. And then we're going to say comments replied to equals, or we're going to say as F, which means that we're opening it as the variable F. This could be dog, this could be hello, we're just going to do as F. And we're going to say f.read. So we're reading the contents of the file. And um, then we're going to do comments replied to. And we're setting it to itself dot split backslash n. So we're pretty much saying we're going to read the file. And then we're going to set the variable back to itself. And dot split means we're going to split the file every time this character is a new line. So every single time the file has a new line, we're going to split it. And that will make a list like we learned about. 
So I'm going to make a new test, a new text edit, a uh, new file really quick. Let's say we had a new text file, and it was um, tests hello um, ABC. So we would read this file, and it would print out literally this text exactly test hello ABC, and Every time there's a new line, which is the backslash n character, it makes a list. So this list would be the same thing as, I'm just going to write it right here. It would be the same thing as um, comments replied to equals, and they would all be read as strings. It would be tests, hello, abc. And obviously that's not, we're going to get an error here, but. Um, so that's what would happen here. So I'm going to run it. And we're going to, first I have to do this. Um, I'm going to not be replying to comments for now, just because we know it works. and. I don't want to be re replying while we're testing. So I'm going to say comments replied to equals, and then what I'm going to do, remember we did return r up here, I'm going to be re returning the comments we've replied to. And I'm going to be setting comments replied to equal to get saved comments. So whatever returned in this method, or this function, is being set equal to comments replied to. So I'm going to run the program, and I'm going to print out comments replied to, just so we know that it's working. And if I run this, I'm going to get an error. And there's no such file or directory comments reply to dot text. So this is where um, my code for the project is. And you can ignore the PYC file, don't worry about it. Um, so there's no such file. So what we have to do is we have to make sure the file exists before we do anything. So we're going to say, if not, and the way we check to see if a file exists, we do os.path.isFile, and we're doing the name of the file, comments replied to dot text. So we're saying if the file does not exist, we're making an empty list of comments because we've not yet replied to anything. And up here I need to import OS. That just means I'm interacting with the operating system. And um, over here, this means the file does not exist. So if it does exist, then we want to do this. So I'm going to indent that. And um, now when I print comments replied to, we should just get an empty list. There should be no error. There we go. Empty list with no error. So, um, that's great. We can now save comments we've replied to. But we can now read comments we've, we've, we've replied to. But right now we have no way of saving it to a file. So, the way we're going to fix that is we're going to say, after we append to the list, we're going to open the file comments replied to dot text, and we're going to do the A. We're going to do A. So right here we did R, you might remember. That means we're going to read the file. Here is A, which means we're going to append to the file. And I'm going to say f.write comment.id plus, which you might remember from the last video, means um, concatenation. We're combining two different strings. And then we're going to do backslash n, a new character line. And it might make sense to you that we add a new line every time, and then we can later split it up by getting the new line character. So I'm going to run this, and we're going to see how it's going to work. Um, let's close this. I don't have comments replied to created. And I'm going to run it, and we're going to watch right here, comments replied to, dot text is actually going to appear. So if I run that, you're going to see it appear, and right now there's no comments in it. What did I do wrong? Um, oh, I just forgot the as f again. My bad. So comments replied to appeared, but there's no comments in it. And right there, it replied to the comment, and when, if I open this up, there should be one thing in there, ddzv2tp. And now, great, it's not replying to comments over and over again. Um, just to make sure this works, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to say dog again is a test. And there's our old uh, mistakes we made. I'm going to say dog again is a test. Um, and I should reply to the comment, but I shouldn't reply to it more than once. And let's see the ID of the comment. The ID is, you can see in the bottom right there, ddzvl8t. And I replied to it. And if I come into my text file and I preview it, ddzvl8t. So to make sure it saves it um, when we stop running the program, let's stop it. And now let's start it again. And hopefully if everything went right, so these are the list of our comments. And actually there's one thing we could do to make this even better. So what what happened was we added a new empty line at the end of the file. And that's just something we don't want. We don't want to have that junk in there. So to make this even better, we can say comments replied to, equal, I'm going to stop running while I edit this. I'm going to say filter none comma comments replied to. So this filters out the first item in the list from the list. So I'm filtering out anything that's the none type. And none is just this, this is none. There's nothing in there. So I'm filtering out anything that's none. 
And if I run it again, I shouldn't have that blank thing there. And this will make it more efficient because there's less things in the list. So great. And again, I'm not replying to any comments over and over again. So in the end, um, our goal for the video was to make sure that we didn't reply to comments over and over and over again. And we succeeded. And um, I know this wasn't the most exciting video. We didn't add, 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 add any new um, really cool features. But hopefully in the next video, we'll be adding some new cool features. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.